With the long weekend just around the corner, I thought it would be a good time to come and learn how to make a container garden. I spoke with Sue here at Conan Nurseries to figure out how to bring that pop of colour into your yard. Containers are very easy to make and they're a lot of fun to watch grow because they don't start off like the greenhouse ones that are already fully formed. These you get to watch develop over the course of the summer. You're going to try and figure out where you want to put it, whether it's sun or shade, whether you want something that just has one side to it or is all around. So once you've figured out those things, you're going to start by choosing some plants. You want something tall in the middle called the thriller and the filler is in the middle and the spillers go down the side. And there's a million things to choose from so any combination is possible. She recommends imagining the size of your pot while shopping and putting possible plants together on your cart, pairing complementing textures and colours. I pack them pretty tight and it works very well. Okay. Yeah, because generally speaking the roots are going to want to go down, okay. not out. You want a soil that's not going to clump up or get swampy in the bottom. And so something with peat, drainage, any soil like that is what you want. Start planting in the middle with your thriller. Best way to get a plant out of a pot is to use your fingers to support the plant, squeeze the uh, pot and gently pull. Out she comes. Now the next thing you want to want to do is rough up these roots a bit because they're growing in a circle. And we want to send them down into the pot. I know this looks a little drastic, but don't worry about it. It stimulates it to make more roots and it quite happy about it actually. This is the crown. The crown is where the plant meets the soil and you don't want to bury this plant any deeper than its crown. You also want to keep about an inch here so that when you water it all the soil doesn't come out. When you're planting the surrounding plants make sure to orient them in the pot with the attractive side facing outward. Find the good side a slow release fertilizer for flowering plants. Okay. And you're just going to sprinkle that in and around. And last but not least, we're going to water this very well. We're going to really flood it and it kind of combines all the soil together so that they know to grow together. So Sue, the possibilities really seem endless with these planters. They are endless. That's yes, amazing. What a, a fantastic artistic summer opportunity. Now, these two seem sort of similar but a little different. Tell me, tell me about that. They contain the same plants and they're for the same location, but they're going to be flanking either side of a door. So I've built them in a mirror image, meaning if you put them side by side, the way things are going to cascade away from the door will be equal on both sides. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for showing us how to make a planter today. You're welcome. And signing off for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.